This is an installation and configuration guide for the Odoo for WooCommerce plugin. To get started, add the plugin to your WooCommerce site and go to the settings page. You can access this settings page from the banner across the top or from the link below the plugin name. On your plugin settings page, you will need the following details. These are noted in the plugin documentation linked below. You will need the server URL for your Odoo database. You will need your database name, your Odoo username account, and your Odoo password. For your Odoo password, you will be using an API key which is generated specifically for the app. To get started with the Odoo for WooCommerce plugin, navigate to the settings page. In the settings page, you'll see four sub-menus. Settings, import, export, and logs. You can select each sub-menu by clicking on the title. In the settings, we'll use this sub-menu to enter the required details which will be used to connect to your WooCommerce store to the Odoo database. We'll use the inputs outlined in the previous steps, including the server URL, database name, username, and password. From this screen, you can also enable the debugging log and select the product SKU mapping. With all changes made on this page, you'll want to click Save Changes to update the settings. And at the top of the page, we have a red button. The status indicator indicates the status of the connection from your Odoo database to the WooCommerce store. When the status indicator is red, the connection is not present. Once the status indicator changes to green, your store will be connected to your Odoo database. Signing up to Odoo and accessing your Odoo API key is super easy. Simply sign up to Odoo with an email and password and you'll be prompted from your database page. Create a new database, hit create. Select the modules which are required, sales, counting, inventory and invoicing are required for working with WooCommerce. Continue, enter your details, and hit Start Now. Enter further information that is required. Move on to the next step. Once your database is set up, you'll be able to generate an API key for your WooCommerce integration. Once you are able to access your Odoo database, you will next need to gather the relevant information. This will include your Odoo database URL, your Odoo database name, your email, and your Odoo API key. To get your Odoo URL, simply use the URL you're currently on to access your database. Don't include any of the information, pass the base URL, and simply collect and copy this. The default format for Odoo database URL is HTTPS semicolon forward slash the name of your company or database dot Odoo dot com forward slash. We will use this for later. Next, we will need your database name. To locate this, simply access my database. The database name is the name written here. Our database name is leader SSK. The next input we will need is your profile or user URL email. To locate this, navigate to your profile and locate the email under work email. Finally, to locate the Odoo API key, head back to your database and head to the database overview page. From here we'll go to settings and scroll to the bottom to enable developer settings. Enabling developer settings can be done by clicking activate the developer settings. From here we will now be able to locate our API key. To locate your API key, head back to your profile and go to the account security section. From our account security section we can scroll down to view the API key section. Select and create a new API key by using the new API key button. Enter your password and hit confirm. Update the description for your API key and generate the key. The 40 digit character which is 
displayed here is the API key which we will use. Head back to your Odoo plugin settings page and navigate to the settings tab. In this tab we will enter the information and can make the connection. First the server URL, we will use the URL taken from above and enter it here. For the database name we will enter our database name which we took from before. For our email we will enter the email from our user profile section and for our API key we will enter this into the password. We'll enter our user name from our profile section and save the changes to make the connection. Once you have made the connection input your required fields and saved the changes. The Odoo for WooCommerce integration will connect to your Odoo database. Check if a connection is active and successful. Review the status indicator. The green along with the tick indicates your connection was successful. Review the settings page again where you will see additional fields now included. These fields are populated based on information from within your Odoo database. Start by configuring the correct fields for your Odoo database. Select a company, select a sales invoice journal, select a tax type based on your tax requirements, select a shipping tax type based on your shipping tax requirements, review the option to enable fiscal positions if this is used, and finally save the changes. Common issues when connecting the Odoo for WooCommerce plugin occur if the server URL, database name, or username and password are incorrect. To know if this information is not input correctly, review the status indicator. One common mistake is to use your Odoo username and password instead of the Odoo username and API key. This is easily identifiable if the password field does not have a lengthy input. To demonstrate this we have used our Odoo password and will save changes. When an incorrect API key or password is entered the status indicator will change to red. Fix this, enter the correct password using the API key from the Odoo development settings page and save the changes. Once you have connected your Odoo database to your WooCommerce store you can now use the import and export features in configuration settings. Navigate to the import settings page by clicking the subheader menu. Under the import settings page you will see subheadings. This includes product features, discount functions and order functions. Starting with product functions, start with the drop down menu for import product frequency. This field sets the frequency of how often products will be imported from Odoo to WooCommerce. The next field is a multi-select field which can be used to filter product imports by categories. At present, filtering by categories is the only available means to filter products which are imported. You can select a category by selecting it using your mouse. To select multiple categories, hold shift on your keyboard and use your mouse to select all the required categories. To save the changes, make sure you use the Save Changes button located at the bottom of the screen. Please ensure all categories are saved, selected, and the page refreshed before using the Manual Import Pro Process button. The third setting under the Product Functions is the Import Products setting. This setting is used to enable the function which imports products from Odoo to WooCommerce. To enable the setting, toggle the button by clicking it. This will be enabled when the button displays a blue color and the circle in the middle moves to the right. To save this, this setting, use the Save Changes button. The button to the right of the Import Products button setting is used to manually trigger the product import. Because the product import operates on a frequent basis based on the frequency defined in the above setting, this means it is limited to time periods. For store owners who want to trigger the manual product 
import. They can do so by using the button. Make sure all settings are saved using the save changes button at the bottom of the page before triggering a manual import of products. Importing products using the Odoo for WooCommerce plugin is super easy. To get started, enable the import products button and save the page. Once you have done that, click the manual import products button to trigger the imports. You will know the import process has started when a pop-up notification displays this. You will see the total number of products which are being imported. Select OK. If you are prompted to reload your site, save and reload your site. We can see that the site has reloaded and the products appear to have been imported. To check this, we can go to our products page and check our new products. We can see we have two products here. When accessed in Odoo, we can see these two products are also here. Within the Odoo import settings page, there are other options which can be configured. Under the product functions, this includes the option to exclude POS products, which are defined in Odoo, the option to enable product updates, which will continuously update products using the frequency above, and then the option to synchronize stocks, which will be synchronized if update products is also enabled, and the option to synchronize price with product updates. Importing new frequencies can also be configured using the setting here for categories as well as the option to enable importing of categories. The same two settings are available to import and enable import for attributes. The order functions contain customer frequency input which selects the frequency of importing customers from the Odoo database to WooCommerce, as well as an option to enable this field. If this is enabled, customers and customer details will be imported. However, by default, this is not enabled. The frequency for orders is selectable using the drop-down. There is also an option to import past orders. To use this feature, enter the date value using the date picker fields and enable the setting with the toggle on the right. Be sure to save all settings once changed. The order refund frequency and order refund frequency enable button are the next two settings as well as the option to import customers based on time period. These two fields are date settings and have a button to manually trigger the import. Once you have completed all your configuration, hit save. The Odoo export settings is very similar to the Odoo import settings. Again, we have three subheadings, product functions, order functions, and discount functions. Under the product functions headings, we'll find fields that may look similar to those in the import fields. One important note, which is listed at the top, is that the Odoo for WooCommerce integration doesn't currently support the exporting of variable products. The first setting in the export settings page is the export products frequency. The next setting is the exclude products by category frequency. This is a multi-line select which can be selected by holding shift on your keyboard and selecting the fields required. Please remember to select the fields by highlighting them and then save the changes at the bottom of the page to ensure all changes are saved. The third option is the option to enable exporting of plugins or products along with the setting is also a button to trigger this manually the option to update products frequently can be enabled or disabled and is disabled by default as is the option to synchronize product stock and product price the export categories options are also under the product functions which include export categories frequency and enabling exporting of categories exporting at attribute frequency and enabling of exporting attributes. The order functions are defined for export settings. Under the order function settings, you first see the export order on checkout setting, which can be enabled or disabled. This will export your orders from WooCommerce to Odoo. The trigger for this is a changing in state of the order, and this will be synced to Odoo. You can also export your invoices from WooCommerce to Odoo using the second setting, export invoices. The mark invoices paid is a configuration option when using the export invoice setting. If 
finally there is an export refund order which allows you to include the refund orders associated with exporting invoices we've included status mapping which can be enabled and mapped for mapping order statuses and this is a toggle field which will display further fields next is customer frequency which is the frequency for updating and exporting customers order frequency for updating and exporting orders as well as date fields and submission buttons for exporting orders product synchronization and customized synchronization to trigger these exports manually once you're done hit save changes finally the discount functions include export coupon frequency export coupon enabling and update coupons enabling